So as Rick said, what we're showing here is what we think is going to be the next big direction for voice communication, unified communications. Um, you may know next versions of Exchange are going to have voicemail transcription. We do something crazier, we do full transcription of an entire telephone call. And then we're crazy enough to even try to do a translation on that. So if you step over here into my office in Australia, and in sunny Australia, I'm now going to make a call using communicator to my colleague Frank in, in Germany, rainy Germany. So I'm going to start a voice call. Hello? Hello? Okay, so what you're seeing here is everything I'm saying is being transcribed automatically by speech recognition. And then it's pasted here into communicator. And that's going to get archived automatically in my Exchange inbox, so I can come back and search and forward and browse my telephone calls. Okay, that's already pretty cool, um, but we do something even more ambitious. Frank, you've been very quiet. Yeah, dafür gibt es einen Grund. Yes, there there is a reason. Weil ich kein Englisch spreche. Of course, no English speaking. <laughs> but we can understand you very well, so can you explain why? Yeah, in diesem System kombinieren wir Spracherkennung mit automatischer Übersetzung. Yes, in Alles, this system sage, combines speech recognition with automatic translation. And then an automatische Übersetzung weitergegeben. Everything I say is recognized by a speech recognizer and then passed on to automated translation. And then this is synthesized using text-to-speech. And we do have German synthesis as well. Okay, I'm not going to show you that because I assume not everyone here speaks German. So we'll mute that for now. Now, Frank, what about the accuracy? What do you think? Naja, es ist offensichtlich nicht perfekt. Well, it's obviously not perfect. Aber man kann durchaus bereits eine Unterhaltung mit dem System führen. But we can certainly already lead a conversation with the system. In fact, we developed some of this software using this uh, system uh, where we had a fully bilingual conversation. It is doable, but you do need to give a little bit of attention to what you say and how you say it. Ja, und besonders wenn man keine Alternative hat, kann man mit dem System durchaus gemeinsam Probleme lösen. Das System erfordert zugegebenermaßen ein bisschen Übung. Particularly if you have no alternative, it will solve quite common problems with the system. <laughs> the system requires admittedly a little practice. And we do give some help to make sure that the translation is working well. You would have noticed here the live transcript here, which tells you if the recognition is working well. Also here, you will see what we call the retranslation. Here we translate first from English into German and then back into English. So this gives you an idea whether what you're saying is going to get translated well or not. Okay, many technologies come together to make this work, because this is an incredibly difficult problem. And, you know, we're doing live speech recognition here. This is highly, highly impressive or highly entertaining, at least. Uh, Frank, can you tell us about some of the technologies? Jetzt wird es gerade ein bisschen laut. <laughs> yes, now is it just a bit louder. <laughs> okay, ein Problem bei automatischer Übersetzung ist, dass ein Wort in einer Sprache mehrere Bedeutungen in der anderen Sprache haben kann. Okay. The problem there is its automatic translation is a word in a language more language can have. Okay, da sage ich jetzt nochmal. Okay. I say again now. Das Problem ist, dass ein Wort in einer Sprache mehrere Bedeutungen in der anderen Sprache hat. The problem is that a word in a language has several meanings in other languages. Ein zweites Problem ist, dass automatische Übersetzung korrekte Satzzeichen erfordert. A second problem is that automatically translation requires correct punctuation. Aber die spricht man ja in spontaner Sprache gar nicht. But talking the actually spontaneous language not. <laughs> okay. Ja, und ein drittes Problem ist, dass automatische Übersetzung für geschriebenen Text trainiert ist. 
aber geschriebener Text ist grammatikalisch yes, doch von is spontaner Sprache translation of written text but grammatically but from spontaneous language is written text is very different okay. <laughs> now a key problem here as well is getting the actual speech recognition correct uh, some of the errors you just saw with Frank were because it wasn't recognized correctly so we've done a lot of work here with the cloud what the system does is listening into your listen into your telephone calls um, and then train a model that's personalized to you. So this system can recognize me very well, and that model is now available in the cloud and then accessible by all my devices to enable out of the box pretty high accuracy transcription there. Uh, the system you're seeing here has been adapted to about 12 hours of my telephone calls, which is not a lot if you could think about how many calls you do, personal calls, business calls together in a week. Okay, so in summary, what have you seen here? Well, basically, the translating telephone system is combining three technologies. These are all technologies developed at Microsoft Research Asia. They are speech recognition, translation, and text-to-speech. And this is incredibly hard. I hope you've either been impressed or at least entertained by some of the interesting errors. Um, any closing thoughts, Frank? Yeah, I hope that at least a part of it was And thank you for your Yes, I hope that at least part was understandable. And thank you for your attention. Okay, choose. So we believe this is really super valuable, very in interesting. You know, I think what you're seeing here is, is you know, we're beginning to put the pieces together. You know, the speech recognition components that are already in office and already in, in, in uh, Windows and have been shipped and are used actually by a lot of people, especially people that have disabilities, uh, you know, taken together with the machine translation component. So exactly when? I don't know.